All right, hello, welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and this is my CNC machine. Hard at work at drawing this little skull. It's a sugar skull. Uh, the whole machine is put together using micro racks and Legos. So you can see, micro racks are these prototyper beams that you can uh, just they get their own little system of screws and bolts. And Legos work really well for the actual linear paths. Is being driven by three stepper motors, uni steppers. Uh, it is a pen right now, just because for calibration's sake, I want to figure out uh, maybe later on I get it a little bit more shored up to actually run it as an engraver. But I'm having fun right now just with a big pen, to be honest with you. So, right here, this is plumber's putty. It's a two-part epoxy mix and once you get it uh, to the point where you like it, three minutes later it becomes rock hard, steel hard. It's amazing. I built all kinds of crazy stuff out of that for work. Alright, built the driver myself. This is a wet base board, so chemical based. I did the old trick of printing the uh, circuit onto magazine stock and then ironing it back onto the board and dipping it in acid. Offsets and 16 chips. And it's being ran by a computer power supply. On the software side of the street, over here, we got EM ECM2 believe it is. Uh, it's a Linux spread. So you can see that image. This image was taken into a program called Inkscape for Linux and then turned into a vector line art. And then Inkscape has a plug-in, uh, G-Code tools it's called, which will export it out as G-Code. And then the G-Code is loaded into this program and you hit play and it starts to draw it what you want. See it fly through the G code down here. Very cool stuff. So this is my very first experience with CNC machines to be honest with you. It took about I want to say two weeks to make all together and that's with the whole never built a CNC machine in my life nor did I know <laughs> exactly too much about the technology. I just saw a YouTube video and I thought it was interesting and then I stumbled upon a website called Instructables where I found a little bit more information. Alright, so as I said, not much of a tutorial, more of just uh, documenting the uh, actual product itself. So I hope you enjoy and have a good one.